This simple email will bypass your complicated password and your two-factor authentication. No matter how much protection you have, hackers can get your credit card info, access your bank account, your email, and anything else that you log into, and there is nothing you can do to stop them. What is going on? This type of attack is called info stealer. And an info stealer, as the name suggests, steals information. It used to be all about stealing your keystrokes with a keylogger and send all that information to the threat actor who would then look for username and passwords. However, with the introduction of two-factor authentication, this became kind of useless as they would require that second factor to log in. So, over the years, the info stealers have evolved into stealing information from your browser. All because of a simple thing that we all want and we all have, convenience. Imagine having to put in your username and password and then your two-factor authentication every single time you wanna check your email or every single time you wanna quickly check your calendar or see what's going on on Facebook or the latest tweets. That would be so irritating. So what websites and online services do is remember you. You log in once successfully, therefore the next time you visit that site from the same computer and the same browser, it knows that it's you and you don't have to keep putting in your credential. It does this with a combination of cookies and authentication tokens. Now, without getting into the technical details of each and when one is used over the other, essentially it's a file that is stored on your computer and confirms that you have access to that website. Nice and convenient for us, but with this understanding, what would happen if I could grab this file from your computer and put it on mine? I would access the same websites. The website will look for that file. It will see that it has all the right information that matches its internal system, and therefore it will grant me access into your account. As far as the website is concerned, I am you. So let's get back to that email. It comes from somebody that you typically would know that just contains an attachment. In this case, it's a video file, but the attachment could be anything. It could be a PDF, an image, a Word doc, but of course, it's none of those actual files. What the threat actors do is create a file that looks like that video file, PDF, or any type of file. That file even has the right icon for that type of file. Now, when you open that attachment, even if you open it in preview mode, the malicious code inside that file runs. The smart thing that these threat actors do is they make it look like nothing happened. You may even get a message on your screen saying something like, the file is corrupt and cannot be run. So you just move on with your day. What you don't realize is that all your tokens and cookies and all that information from your browser has just been stolen and sent to that threat actor. For all intents and purposes, you are hacked. You just don't know it. Now that they have your info, they can load those files on their computer and are able to bypass your complicated password and your two-factor authentication. What they do next is really meh, anything that they want. Sometimes they run scams on your social media. Other times they log into your bank or your PayPal and try to transfer money. They can even take out loans in your name, run identity theft scams, and basically ruin your digital life. This is serious. Now, John Hammond, who is a security researcher, actually shows how the code works. If you wanna check it out, I'll have a link in the description below. Now, it looks super complicated, so you would think that in order to pull this off, hackers will need to be some genius coders, but that is not the case. Just like you can pay a monthly fee for Netflix, there are malware services on the dark web where for a couple of hundred bucks, you can get your own malware ready to go. This is one of the reasons why we're seeing this threat on the rise as info stealers can literally be done by anyone in a couple of minutes. And in an instant, you lose access to your entire digital life. So what can you do to protect yourself? Well, firstly, you should log out of important websites like your Google, your banking website, or anything else that you deem important. Then just log back in. 
When you do that, it invalidates any previous tokens, which means that if anybody has those tokens, they just became useless. Get into the habit of logging out of important websites once a month, ideally more often. Yes, it's a pain, but definitely worth it to up your security level. Next, if you typically get attachment in emails, I highly recommend getting into the habit of asking the sender not to send the actual file as an attachment, but to rather put that file into something like Google Drive or Dropbox and then share the link. This is because Google or Dropbox or those cloud storage services are simply not going to host malware. So if it's legit, you will get a link and then you know that it's already been scanned by Google and your antivirus will then do another scan again. Now next, if you get a random email from people you don't know and are not expecting and that email contains an attachment, just delete it. Do not try to even open it in preview mode. That will execute the code. And no matter how tempting it is to open an email with an OnlyFans photos or confidential salary list attachment. Do not fall for it. And never, ever, ever open a zip file that is password protected. This is a surefire way to get infected. Antivirus doesn't scan those protected files and this is where malware is easily hidden. You should also enable safe browsing if you're using Chrome. Go to your Google accounts, select on security, then click on enhance safe browsing for your account and switch that on. If any email or website says anything like, this is a new version of the file, so your antivirus doesn't know about it yet, just disable it whilst you install the file. If you ever see anything like that, Never ever do that. The antivirus doesn't need to know about every new version of every file. It will look at the file content itself and find out if it is malicious or not malicious. This message is nonsense. I cannot tell you how many people will click on a link that they found on Google for the latest update to a game or the latest Zoom version or that pirated software and will disable their antivirus just to get that latest update. Don't do that. And to be clear, complicated passwords along with two-factor authentication are a must. I am not saying that we shouldn't have them. What I am saying is that we must not be manipulated into clicking on attachment and certainly never disable our security features. This is why so many companies are rolling out pass keys, which is meant to replace passwords. And you can see all about them in this video right over here. Now, before you head out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. I will see you in this video. Let's go.